All right, guys, it is week two of Hockey Ultimate Team, and today I've got my top five cards to target and to avoid in the auction house. Let's jump into it. All right, so with the market kind of crashing entirely over the weekend with those new packs and squad battle rewards, Crosby has dipped to under 120k on PlayStation, and there's just no reason for it. He's still one of the better cards in the game, especially at center with his 93 faceoff. He's got great speed. If you can get him for under 120k, he's definitely worth it. I've been using him for the last week now. Great card. Following the trend of the market crashing, one of the best wingers in the game is the base Nikita Kucherov, and he's going for under 100,000 coins. It's ridiculous. He has insane speed, a great shot. There's no reason why he should be taking this big of a hit compared to icons and even some of the classics. Um, there's there's just no reason for him to drop this hard, this hard. He's one of the best wingers in the game currently. I want to mix in all budgets doing these videos. So under 35,000 coins for Steven Stamkos is a great price. He's great on the wing. His faceoffs are a little low compared to some of the other centers. But if you can get him for under 35,000 coins, you're going to have a great winger for quite a bit of time. He also has the X-Factor Synergy, which is one of the best. I would go after him if you don't have him already. He's a great middle tier option, again, at under 35,000 coins. Going even cheaper, we're looking at the 83 icon Mike Pekka. Regardless of where you are in your team build right now, if you just started out, if you've got a great team, Mike Pekka should be on your team. The reason for it is his 98 faceoff and his great speed. You're not going to shoot with him, 100% guaranteed, but as a fourth line player, center, and penalty killer, this is a great value card under 10,000 coins. You can get value out of him for you know, the next couple months just because he's on your fourth line. You're barely going to see him, but when you need to win a draw or on the penalty kill, he's your man. And lastly, this is for the high rollers. The 90 Darlene is the best card I have used so far in NHL 20. If you've seen my team, you know it's stacked. I got this card, and it is the first one where I notice when he has the puck, regardless if I see his name or not. He's fast, he's big, he has a great shot from the point. It made him one of the best defensemen already, and the gap between him and the next few defensemen after Paul Coffey is pretty large. If you do the master set where you choose between 1 and 6, please get Dahlin. I know it's not the sexy pick. Everyone's going to talk about Rantanen or the Gretzky. I promise you guys, you will not be disappointed, and he is one of the best defensemen already and will continue to be for the next month or two. On to my top five cards to avoid for week two. This is not going to be a popular pick, but let me explain myself. Rantanen at the 90 overall. I got him, and he's not a bad card. Don't get me wrong. His price point is what is awful because there are so many because you can do the master set and get one for free. He's going to fall in price. I think that you should get Rantanen, but not for over 300k. And the reason why is that he doesn't seem as fast as his stats indicate. I have him on my first line, and I swear Darlene will fly past him. It just it doesn't line up. And his wrist shot accuracy, because you do have him on the wing, um, it's just it's kind of low, especially for a 90. I mean, again, relative to some of the other high-end cards where you're spending, you know, close to 400k coins. So I'm not saying to avoid him entirely. Just avoid him at this price point. If he drops to under 300k, please pick him up. Into the budget bin, John Tavares is at 85 overall. So I used this card at launch for just a little while. And if he's over 20k, I would avoid him. I know he's going to be a popular pick for a lot of people, just like Leon Dreisaitl was last week. His speed is just very, very slow. And you're coming to a point now where the better cards are coming out. I know it's very quick, but the classic cards are a little bit faster. Um, you're just not going to get as much value as you think just because you see that number, the overall being 85 in total, and you think that, okay, this is a great card. So if he's over 20K right now, he's going for about 28, 29. I would avoid until he hits 20K if you are looking for a centerman. At that point, yeah, go ahead and pull the trigger. Next up is my boy Brent Burns, and he's got great size. Can't deny that. But his shooting is is a little bit underwhelming when you actually look at it. He's known for his wrist shot. If you watch a Sharks game, he doesn't have a booming slapper. It's his wrist shot that is absolutely ridiculous. You can't put him on the wing in this game. Combine that with the fact that his speed is very, very low in comparison to, you know, 
the forwards that are out right now. Over 35k is a little too much for me. If he drops under 30, sure, but even then, you know, it's his speed really hindering him. You have to be very careful when you control him to not give up straight line, uh, you know, wingers just flying by him. The next one is a total hard avoid, and that's my boy Rob Blake. I love Rob Blake. His entire career, he's one of my favorite players. But at 83 speed and his shot is not where it should be when you consider how good he was with the slap shot. If you have him on your team, you need to get rid of him. There's The 86 overall is misleading. He's big for sure, but his speed is so hindering to you, and his shot does not make up for it. This is one of the worst icons that you can get. If you pack him, sell him. If you're looking to get a defenseman, please avoid him. There's just way better options. And lastly, the avoid of the week is the 1 in 3 choice gold collectible set. You can get gold collectibles right now for about 40k. So you're looking for, or about 30 to 40k. So you're looking about 100,000 coins to get a 1 in 3 choice pack. And the players that you're going to get to select from could be 86 overalls, but there's very few that are actually worth it. So. Again, guys, I would avoid this set entirely. If you do have collectibles, sell them. If you want to save them up for the master set, do that. But please avoid this set. So, guys, I hope this helps you save some coins and get some great valued players. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And, again, make sure you check me out on Twitch Monday to Friday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time till... Whenever I feel like getting off, which is usually around the reset at 5. So guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. Have a good one.